Hey everyone, this is my first time posting, and I never thought I'd be writing something like this, but I don't know who else to talk to about this. So, here's the situation. My wife and I have been together for nearly five years, and we got married just seven months ago. It was a beautiful wedding, and everything seemed like a fairy tale, at least back then. I was so happy to finally call her my wife after being together for so long. We were even in the process of putting a down payment on what we considered our dream house. It felt like we were building the life we always wanted together. However, things have changed drastically in the past couple of months. We've been struggling with intimacy issues for a while now, especially after the wedding. I work full time and with everything going on, house hunting, dealing with finances, it's been hard to keep up with everything. I know I've been preoccupied and it's possible that she felt neglected or like we were growing distant. But even with all that, I never imagined she would go down this path. A couple of weeks ago, I noticed she was acting different, staying out later than usual and just generally being less engaged with me. I chalked it up to stress at first, thinking maybe it was related to our issues. But eventually, I got suspicious. One night, she left her phone out while she was cooking, and a message popped up. I wasn't proud of it, but I looked at it. What I found were messages between her and my friend, a guy I've known for a long time, 30 male, who recently had his first kid with his partner. They had been sleeping together. From what I could gather, it started a couple of months ago, and it's happened on at least three separate occasions that I know of. I couldn't read everything. I had to stop before she busted me. This guy had been around us, spending time at our place, and he was even a groomsman at our wedding. I can't believe he could do this with a newborn at home. I haven't confronted my wife yet. I don't even know how to. Every time I look at her, I just feel this mixture of anger, hurt, and disbelief. I've been sleeping in the guest room for the past few nights, telling her that I'm working late and didn't want to keep her up. We don't have an office room. She hasn't pushed too much on it yet, but I know I can't keep avoiding her forever. I also haven't decided what to do legally. I know I won't be staying with her. I can't imagine living the rest of my life with someone who would seek other men just months into our marriage. The question now is, what's the best way to go about ending this? We've only been married seven months, and I'm wondering if an annulment is still possible. I've read that annulments are rare and usually have specific conditions, but maybe there's a way, considering the infidelity. I don't want to be financially tied to her, so I'd much rather avoid divorce and alimony. My entire world is crumbling down. I was planning our future, thinking about starting a family in our dream home, but now it's all been a lie. I know people say that time heals all wounds, but right now it feels like I'll never get over this. I trusted her with everything, and I thought she was my partner for life. Now I feel like a fool for missing the signs. I don't even know how to go about telling people. Our families were so excited when we got married, and they've been incredibly supportive of us getting the house. How do I tell them that it's all over? I feel so embarrassed, like I failed. I know logically that it's not my fault that she made the choice to cheat, but I can't help but feel like I wasn't enough for her, or that I did something to drive her away. And then there's my friend. I feel like I've lost two people in one fell swoop, my wife and a person I thought was a close friend. I have a good job, but possibly having to pay for legal fees during a divorce isn't something I'd plan for. I also don't want to stay in the current place we're renting together. It just feels tainted now. Everything around me is a reminder of what she did. What do I do now? Should I confront her directly or should I talk to a lawyer first? Is it too late for an annulment or am I just stuck going through a divorce? How do I even begin to process all this? Update. I made a post last month about discovering my wife was cheating on me with a friend of mine, and it's time for an update. It's over, and I'm proceeding with an annulment on the grounds of infidelity. After the first post, I snooped again and found more messages between my wife and the affair partner. I found messages where they were referring to the times they hooked up, including at my sister's wedding, which was two years ago. Two years. I can't even put into words how that discovery made me feel. My entire relationship had been a lie. I don't even understand why she married me if she was seeing someone else. And I don't understand why he married his wife and had a child with her if he was frickin' my wife the whole time. Why are these people so messed up in their heads? They're insane. I forwarded everything I found to my lawyer, who fortunately has been incredibly supportive. She was so angry on my behalf and told me this was a slam dunk case for an annulment. 
I think I needed someone else to tell me what my wife did was beyond acceptable, even though I knew it in my heart. She said it'll be a fairly quick process too, like about a week or so, which really works for me. When I finally confronted my wife about everything and I told her I was proceeding with the annulment, she completely lost it. She hit the roof and started yelling at me about how I had no right to invade her privacy by looking at her messages. The irony of her outrage is almost laughable, given everything she's done. She accused me of trying to ruin her life, and even went as far as saying I wasn't a real man for telling others about what happened. Well, I have started telling people. Families and close friends know, and I have no intention of hiding what happened. I told the affair partner's wife, too, and she was devastated. She had no idea. I felt it was the right thing to do. She deserves to know the truth about the person she's married to, just like I did. She's thanked me and been supportive of me, though she's going through her own nightmare right now. I know it's going to be tricky when figuring out the logistics, but apart from that, I feel a huge black cloud that's been covering me this whole time has drifted away. I feel lighthearted and, weirdly, I'm happy. That do for now. Story 2 My girlfriend fucked my best friend while we were on break. Me and my girlfriend, both 20, have been going out for two years. Recently, I went on exchange and we decided we'd go on a break. Neither of us were entirely happy with that, but we wanted to stay together. I know breaks never work, but that's not the point of this post. We agreed neither of us would seek out other hookups, but if it happened, it was okay. A couple weeks ago, my best friend told my girlfriend that he loved her. We talked it through and agreed together she'd stop hanging out with him since it was unacceptable and she said she didn't reciprocate the feelings. Three days ago, she ended up seeing him at a party with mutual mutual friends and told me today that she hooked up with him. I was extremely unhappy, but we talked it through and agreed we'd try to work through it. But at the end of the conversation, she admitted they'd fucked that night and not just hooked up. I'm extremely upset and don't know what to do. I think I still love her and wanted to stay together when I found out they kissed, but knowing they fucked makes it so much worse and I don't know if I can handle it. All my friends have advised me to cut it off and I most likely will, but somewhere inside I still want to stay with her. I just don't know if I can get over it though, because I can't stop thinking of the two of them together. I'm just looking for some advice, maybe some insight from anyone in a similar situation. Edit. I've always had the stance that I'd never be able to forgive a cheater. That being said, if she'd fucked a random, I would have been fine. My only issue was her sleeping with my best friend. I feel like I've been betrayed, especially after the fact we agreed she wouldn't hang out with him anymore. Update. I broke things off with her today. The overwhelming response almost forced my hand in that I realized I was in denial and just trying to find a reason to stay together. Thank you to everyone for your help. I appreciate it. Your ex-girlfriend's behavior was incredibly sleazy, especially since it involved your best friend and happened after you both explicitly agreed to certain boundaries. She disrespected you and betrayed your trust, and it's understandable that you're feeling so hurt and conflicted. Even if you still have feelings for her, you'd never be able to get over what she did. The betrayal is too deep, and those images of them together would just keep eating away at you. Staying would mean constantly reliving that pain, and it would be nearly impossible to rebuild real trust again. You deserve someone who will respect your relationship, not someone who's willing to throw it away for a drunken night with your best friend. You made the right choice ending things. She showed you who she truly is, and you deserve so much better than that. Stay strong and take care of yourself. Now for some comments. And I quote, We agreed neither of us would seek out other hookups, but, it ha but if it happened, it was okay. Emphasis on that last line. You didn't set provisions on who was on or off limits. They fucked at a party, and she was, by all technical accounts, single. She followed those rules. She didn't seek out a random hookup. They bumped into each other at a party, and things took a turn that neither expected. It's unfortunate, but it happens. If anything, I'd be more upset at him than her. Bro code has been broken here. Well, from what I see here, you said you were on break, agreed to not sleep around, but if it happened, it was okay. Was that rule only applying to you? Because from where I'm sitting, she acted on lust because the open window was she wouldn't look for it, but if opportunity strikes, well, technically she has the pass. Not that I agree with any of this, because unless there's a firm set rule to the break, 
stuff like this happens. If you wanted her all to yourself, a break was probably a bad idea. So either you two get back together or just break it off so she can explore her feelings for the friend. Breaking and cheating aside, she screwed your best friend. That's just a big fat no. Then she continued to deal with him knowing how you felt about it. Think about that. That's blatant disrespect and disregard for your feelings or how it would affect you. You don't deserve that. If you continue to stay with her and it happens again though, then you might. I would move on. Good luck.